So post 1.0.3 Diablo 4 patch, XP and how it's earned now within Nightmare Dungeons has drastically changed. Today guys I bring you the 5 best and tried and tested solo Nightmare Dungeons you can run and farm for the XP, the best in the game. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Nightmare Dungeons and the XP they give off now is crazy good. I mean, they're all you really need to be farming if you need the XP. Now these have been tried and tested for the solo player, tried and tested by PC players as the 5 best in the game as of right now for those XP gains, efficiency and that loot. So let's get into it guys and in at number 5 we have the Rave Wind Wilds, I believe that's pronounced that way, I am absolutely crap at pronouncing things as you probably know by now. But the Reverend Wilds is located right here on the map. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, this isn't a dungeon I've used or experienced that much in my life. I mean, or my Diablo 4 life, I'm not gonna lie. But it seems like a pretty good one to run. For me though, there's always been ones better to run. I've heard about this from a while back now, but there's always been ones, in my opinion, better to run than this one. And it seems as though, although there are four better, this is still top five best solo XP farms in the game. So yes, look out for those nightmare sigils. If you get one with magic find on, which increases those loot drops too, you may just want to farm this one or just complete it and level up your glyph. That's entirely up to you. But yes, guys, this is a top five dungeon for that solo XP. Now XP gains within this Wrath of Wilds is upwards of 30 million XP per hour. This obviously depends on your build and how efficient you can run these things. But yes, this one's upwards of 30 million XP per hour. So yes, guys, a default top 5 solo XP farm is the Wrath of Wilds dungeon. Okay, so fourth on the list, guys, we have the Alderwood dungeon. Now this is a dungeon... I have covered in the past, it's one I used and abused quite a lot and it's one I always recommend to players. This one again is equally great and it's located right here on the map. Now within this one guys you can expect to earn closer to 31 million XP per hour. So yes this is a great great farm you do want to take serious too. Again if you have that nightmare sigil, if you have that out of wood, if you can definitely determine that enemies are going to be a few levels above you, your XP gains here are going to be through the roof. Again you can farm it if you want to know how to farm these nightmare dungeons, stay tuned until the end of the video but you can run this over and over and over again as long as you have that one nightmare sigil you are good to farm this. But yes guys, the all of wood is in that number 4 spot. Okay, so in at number three, we have the Sunken Ruins Dungeon. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is another one I haven't really run. Yes, I've run it once or twice, but it isn't one I really went to in regards to earning XP and to farm. Now, you can expect to earn close to 33 million XP per hour here within this one. And as you can see, it's quite a decent dungeon, to be honest. Plenty of enemies within this one. So, no wonder it's in that number three spot for solo XP farmers in regards to dungeons and what you can earn efficiently. Again, guys, it's all about an efficient build and allowing you to run these faster. But either or, whether your build's quick at killing enemies or not, even still, these are still the best five dungeons in the game you can farm for the XP. Okay, so in at number two, we have the Goran Canals. Now, this is one I posted a video on about two or three days back, not long after the, the patch, the 1.0.3 patch. And I couldn't believe how good this thing is. This is upwards of 34 million XP per hour uh, if you're efficient with that build. So it's definitely one you want to run. This actually reminds me of the dungeon in that number one spot. Plenty of spiders, plenty of those enemies all over the place. Massive groups of them. And what I loved about this one was when I was running it with a team, the amount of events that was in here, sometimes three or four events per dungeon, giving you even more XP gains and that loot. So yes, guys, the Gulran Canals, absolutely incredible dungeon you definitely want to be taking advantage of if you do get that nightmare sigil drop for you okay so in at number one guys and this probably isn't a surprise to many of you it is the blind burrows now the blind burrows is located right here on the map this is a quick and efficient dungeon you can run quickly and fastly 
I mean, XP per run of a single dungeon probably won't be the best in the game, but if you plan on farming this over and over, guys, you're earning closer towards 36 million XP per hour. If you do this in like co op, guys, it's gonna at least add a third onto that. So that's absolutely crazy, guys. So, just the blind burrow is probably the best dungeon in the game right now. And they actually nerfed this, if you remember. I'm pretty sure they dropped a nerf on this thing, but still, now post patch. This thing is incredible. It's just because of the amount of enemies within here and because they've added experience for killing enemies and monsters within dungeons that you earn so much from this one. Because don't forget those small spiders, guys. They give you equal amounts of XP as the normal enemies. So there's many, many more small spiders in here as well. Uh, so yeah, it's just pure XP gains. It really is. But yes, guys, the Blind Burrows is number one in regards to solo XP per hour you can earn almost 36 million per hour if you have an efficient farming method with your build and there we have it guys the top five best xp farms for solo players in the game as of right now now if you guys ain't aware post 1.0.3 patch for diablo 4 you still can farm nightmare dungeons and this is exactly how you do this Okay, so you simply guys need to get that Nightmare Dungeon sigil and activate it. Whatever Nightmare Dungeon you want to farm, go ahead and activate it. Upon doing this guys, you need to head to said Nightmare Dungeon and enter it. Once you're inside the Nightmare Dungeon, you need to leave the Nightmare Dungeon. Then guys, you want to travel to the ruins of Rakhat Keep in a court, this waypoint right here, and then head into the Iron Hold Dungeon right next to it. Here guys you need to complete that first objective and to do this guys you simply run past all of the enemies, search for that elite, it's normally top right, but yeah kill the elite, he will drop that jailer's key, pick it up and the objective is done. From here guys simply leave the iron hold dungeon, then you want to head back to your sigil activated nightmare dungeon. From here guys you can just farm away, rules, do not complete this nightmare dungeon and do not quit out of the game. Both will equate to you losing your Nightmare Dungeon. Now what you want to do guys is within this Nightmare Dungeon you want to run it up until the end of the Nightmare Dungeon. To the boss or to completing that last objective. But do not do this. Do not complete the last objective or do not defeat the boss. If you do this guys you lose the ability to farm this. So run it up until the last point. Then guys you want to simply leave the dungeon. Once you've left the dungeon head back to the Iron Hold. Run the first objective again. Upon you doing this and running that first objective again, it resets your Nightmare Sigil, your Nightmare Dungeon. So you can go back to your Nightmare Dungeon from this point, guys, and farm it again. Now, to reset it every single time, you will need to go to another dungeon. I recommend Iron Hold. Run the first objective. This resets your Nightmare Dungeon, allowing you to farm it over and over again as a solo player. So yes, if you have a Nightmare Sigil for a Nightmare Dungeon, you know you can earn tons of XP from. You may as well farm it. And hey, the choice is yours. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.